Creatine has been extensively studied and proven to have several beneficial effects on the body. It is known to increase muscle size, aid in faster muscle building, enhance athletic performance, and potentially improve cognitive function. It is no surprise that over 50% of professional power athletes, including powerlifters, boxers, and track and field athletes, reportedly use creatine for these reasons. Its popularity is also rising among high school lifters and athletes. Before starting creatine supplementation, it's essential to understand how it affects the body and why it may not work the same for everyone. Creatine is a naturally occurring substance produced in the body, primarily stored in muscles, where it serves as an indirect energy source for high-intensity activities like sprints and heavy lifting. Additionally, about 5% of creatine is stored in the brain and has been associated with both improvements and impairments in brain function. Supplementing with creatine can increase baseline creatine levels in muscles by approximately 30%, leading to enhanced strength and muscle mass over time. However, not everyone experiences the same benefits from creatine, as some individuals may already have fully saturated muscle creatine levels, while others, especially vegetarians, may benefit more due to lower baseline levels. During the first 30 days of creatine supplementation, it takes time for the muscles to become fully saturated with the additional creatine. Two methods of supplementation are commonly used, a loading phase, where a higher dose is taken to rapidly increase creatine stores, or a non-loading phase, where a baseline dose is taken to gradually increase creatine levels. The loading phase typically takes about seven days, while the non-loading phase may take two to three weeks to reach full saturation. Throughout the saturation phase, some common side effects may include water retention, resulting in a small spike in body weight and occasional stomach discomfort. To minimize stomach discomfort, creatine can be taken in smaller doses throughout the day, not on an empty stomach or with caffeine, and mixed with hot water for better dissolution. It's crucial to be aware of the effect of creatine supplementation on creatinin levels, which may increase slightly due to the breakdown of creatine in the body. However, creatine has been consistently proven to be safe for healthy individuals, and healthcare professionals are aware of its impact on creatinin levels. Once the muscles are saturated with creatine, one can expect an improvement in strength, with an average increase of about 8% in strength, and 14% in the number of reps performed for experienced lifters. Less experienced individuals may experience even more significant performance gains. Additionally, creatine may aid in faster recovery from training, and emerging research suggests potential benefits on brain function, particularly in memory and intelligence, especially for vegans and vegetarians. Remember that while creatine can be a valuable supplement, it is not a substitute for proper training and nutrition. To achieve the best results, prioritize your training and nutrition, and consider creatine as an additional tool to enhance your performance and muscle building efforts. That's all for today. Click here to know more about what happens to your body when you exercise every day for one month.